Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another video. And today we're going to be checking out procedurally generated arcs in Ark Survival Evolved. Now, some of you guys might not know how to get into this. Some of you might, I don't know. But uh, I had a little bit of trouble figuring it out. I was like, well, where's it at? Because I came in here to my host and local. And I was like, where? Okay, it's not in my maps. All right, it's it's not in my, my mods here. I don't, I don't. I don't understand. Like, where is it at? I, I don't know. But uh, what I did miss, I'm going to actually add this into my procedurally generated arc, was this button right up here. Create procedurally generated arc. So once you do, um, once you get your settings and everything the way that you want to do, um, we're going to create an arc and you have all of these different settings. There's a ton of settings here. Um, is highly experimental. Your save procedure will necessarily be wiped in subsequent updates as a dynamic algorithm are further developed we only recommend using this system at the present time if you're willing to accept frequent clearing of your procedurally arc save data so there's like you can have a map seed so like if i just wanted it to be 15 uh landscape radius I, it'd be nice if you could like hover over this stuff <clears throat> and uh, get like um get tool tips on maybe what they do Presets, default, custom, unused. It looks like you could save favorites. So if you like set something up and it's favorited, you can do that stuff. But like you have a lot of stuff that you can actually mess with here. And I think that's pretty cool. So I'm going to basically load a G default arc just the way that the normal stuff is. Uh, and then we're going to name this one default arc. And I'm gonna load it up this way and we'll see uh, what it looks like. All right, here we go. This is the first look at my procedurally generated arc using the default settings. Let's see what this world looks like. Now, if I go ahead and open up my map as soon as I get done moving around, I got a level. Uh, so yeah, I've got just one little spot, but if we take a look like, this is, this is pretty, oh, scorpion right there. Pulmono Scorpius right off the bat. Uh, we got some pretty cool trees through here. Uh, I don't know. It's very neat. Very neat indeed. All right. So I think let's go ahead and we are going to go into spectator here just as soon as I can get away from that. Now, there is some funkiness with like the ground and you can kind of see that. Uh, spectator. There we go. So yeah, you can kind of see that the ground is a little funky. I, I don't know that it, if that's normal or, you know, I guess everything right now is pretty not normal, but it's definitely a pattern uh, within that. But uh, yeah, we go ahead and we'll take a look around here uh, at how big the arc itself is. We got some uh, stone and metal up here, but yeah, let's, let's go up. And let's, let's take a look at our arc. So we have definitely some big stuff here. Oh, a bunch of islands, too. So we've got this island here. Uh, looks like we have this island over here, like a middle main island. And then we have uh, another little um, island system over this way, too. So that is really cool. And then you've got a bunch of obsidian and stuff. Looks like all the resources are behaving properly. Now... You know, one thing I don't see right off the bat is the arcs. So I'm assuming that, uh, I, I assume, there's a Spinosaurus. Uh, I assumed that the arcs would be like mainstays inside of the procedurally generated arcs. Um, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But, uh, yeah, it just doesn't look like that is the case. Now, again, I have no way of telling if there are, um all the dinos on this map, you know, I'd have to like run around and play and everything. And, uh, you know, we, we got to make a video here. So it's definitely pretty cool. Like we've got our redwoods biome that is, is very funky. Uh, we've got our snow biomes over here where we can see more spinos, sabers, raptors, RGs, rhinos, all kinds of stuff over through that way. Ooh, that's a white woolly mammoth. Very nice. All right. And all through there is still good. Come up this way. Yeah. 
All right, cool. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to load up another one. I am going to do some pretty crazy settings with this one. I'm just going to go nuts with the with the changing. Uh, I will also let you guys know that the um, generating of this map took a while. Took a good while. Ooh, Pelagornis. What's up, buddy? Took a good while. Um, it was at least, I want to say at least 10 minutes worth of loading. And that is with my really, really good PC. So... Yeah, I don't, I don't really know how long it's going to take for someone that doesn't have that good of a system. Um, it is, is probably very, uh, very slow. But yeah, let's go ahead. I'm going to show you guys some of the settings I'm going to pick, and we'll be right back. All right, so I figured I'd bring you guys along as I kind of mess with this stuff. So we're going to do landscape radius uh, 2.5. Water frequency is going to be 1. Mountain frequency is going to be 15. Mountain slope is a 0.5. Mountain height is going to be a 2.5. Turbulence power. I have no idea. Short slope, let's do 0.5. Water level is going to be... You know what? I probably shouldn't mess with that. Grassland, grass density. Uh, let's do 2.0. Jungle grass density. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Erosion iterations. I don't know what that is. Ocean floor level negative 1. Let's go with negative two. Uh, let's see, snow biome size, 0.5. Redwood biome size, 0 0.075. Mountain biome start, mountain biome tree density. Let's go with 0 0.50. Uh, jungle biome start, island border curve. I don't know what that is, so we're gonna have to up that. Maximum spawn point height, tree density. Tree density, grass density. I'm not going to mess with that stuff too much. Shoreline start offset. Shoreline thickness. That seems pretty cool. Snow under mountains. Snow under all of that stuff. And these are map settings, so snow biome location. You can actually set where you want each biome to start. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and try this. Oh, terrain scale modifier. Let's go bigger. Go bigger, go home, right? Just kind of up all of this stuff uh actually i want to up this to three no not 30 3.0 3.0 and i'm gonna hit the host button let's check this one out it's probably gonna take me a few more minutes here but let's do it all right here we are back and i am going oh whoa what did i do there cheat stop spec ding Okay, we're, we're good. Uh, looks like I can only spawn in three spots in this particular arc. So that was a little weird, but let's enable spectating again. And look at the size of these mountains. Holy cow. What did I do? This is like the smallest, well, it might actually be like the biggest arc ever, but most inhospitable arc ever. Look, look, come down here and look at this terrain. It's all jacked. All right. Come all the way up here to the top of the mountains. Is there, there's at least, you know, ores up here and they're little trees. All right, so let's come over here. What is this? What did I make? What kind of monstrosity is this? You've got well, like one habitable island over here and that's about it. Holy cow. All right, so let's, how deep are the oceans? Well, they're not super deep. They're not super deep at all. All right. Whoa. Oh, hold up. Oh, that's just the end of the world. Okay. I was going to say, what is that? And then you come out here. <laughs> look at this little plateau. Uh, yeah, so don't do those settings. Those settings are 100%, uh, I would say, unplayable. So I think I'm going to take some time. Look at, look at where this one's going to spawn. The teeny tiny little island all out here by itself. It's going to spawn one of those things. But yeah, I don't even see any. Di oh, look. Is the elusive woolly rhino up in the mountain peaks? It's like a mountain goat. All right, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around. I'm gonna create another one. I'll be right back. All right. So map number three. It looks like I spawned partially underwater. What is going on here? Like, is this like the highest water ever? Why does it seem like I'm drowning, but yet the water's way down there? 
There's some weird stuff going on here, guys. Cheat infinite stats. Okay, so the water is all the way down here. And yet, I can continue to go up. Okay. I don't know what I did with this one to make it so weird, but it is definitely on the weird side because there's manta rays like flying in the air. This is really strange. All right, let's go into spectator mode and see how high this water goes. Oh. Whoa. I didn't even do anything that weird with the stats. And once you get close to it... Is that going to land right there? No, it's going to go through. Okay, you know, that is also very strange. It's like the water... I didn't even adjust the water. And I just got one big island. Like, that's really weird. Alright, keep going along. We're really fast. Look at that. All that water. All through here. There's no other islands. That's really strange. Well, guys, I hope that uh, I hope that you enjoyed ever so slightly the procedural arc generation uh, tests that I have done. I know it's not many, but you guys kind of get an idea of what you can work with. I haven't seen anything impressive so far besides the default settings, which might be what you have to work with to get anything worthwhile. So uh, for now, my name is Drax. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Have a good one, guys.